Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful, blessed day today. To always, always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now, just to give Him the thanks right now. Just to give Him the praise right now. And always give Him the glory. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. And He is so worthy. He is so worthy to be praised and magnify His holy name. We wouldn't be here right now today if Jesus was finished with us right now today. But he still have you in the palm of his hands. He's telling you that everything is going to be okay. He said continue to trust him. Have faith in him. Have hope in him. That there's no way that anybody that had faith, trust, and hope in Jesus, there's no way he'll never let you down. There's no way he'll never disappoint you. There's no way he'll never fail you. Because he is for you. He'll never leave you or forsake you. Hallelujah. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Amen. Amen. Because praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing because my God, your God, the one we serve, he is still on the throne. Hallelujah. He is still performing miracles and wonders each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. That's why you always need him. I don't care who you are. If you don't need Jesus in your life, there's something wrong with you. Jesus is the only thing that you need. Jesus is the only person who's going to get you do what you was going through. Your family members not going to get you there. Your husband, or your wife, not your children, not your co-workers, not your pastor. Not your neighbors, not your cats, your dogs, or your birds, or your turtles, or your fish, or whatever animal that you have. The only person is going to get you to where that you need to go is Jesus. But I know that some of you right now, they ain't here to judge nobody. You know who you are. Some of you, the only time that Jesus even hear from you is when you're in trouble or you want something or you need anything. Anybody can do that. We all have done it before. Some of you, the only time you pray to Jesus when things are going good. Anybody can do that. That's the easy part. But can you thank him? Can you praise him? Can you worship him when things are not going good? Can you do it when you're in pain? Can you do it when you're suffering? Can you do it when you're struggling? Can you do it when you're in your hardship? Can you do it when you're in the storm? Can you do it when you're in the wilderness? And that's when Jesus said, I can trust you. Because no matter what you're going through, you are still right there. I can hear your voice. The word of God said, I know my child's voice. How you know? It's because y'all have a relationship. Y'all have a commitment. Y'all have a bond. That side, Jesus knows your voice. And that's why he always will be there for you. It's because of your relationship. He's not going to ever break that. It doesn't matter how, what the enemy is trying to do. God will always protect his own. He always will watch over you. He always will protect you. He always will cover you. It's because y'all have an understanding. And God is not going to break his bond in his relationship for the ones that he loves and trusts and the ones that love and trust him. He ain't going to break that. Your neighbors might break that. Your family members might break that. Your in-laws might break that. Your husband and your wife or your children or your brothers and your sisters might break that. But Jesus will never, ever, ever break his bond with you. So the point I'm making right now today, if you really love Jesus, if you want to get in a relationship with Jesus, you must start continuing to praise him. But just don't praise him with your mouth. Because that's what some of y'all do because the word of God tells us that in Isaiah and also Matthew. He says, some of y'all praise me with your mouth, but your hearts are so far from me. Jesus is always going to test their heart, no matter what. He's going to test their heart. Make sure that your praise is coming from your heart and not your mouth. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray. Heavenly Father, God, I come before you right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank you for this beautiful, blessed day. I thank you for this opportunity, God. Thank you for this chance of a lifetime. I thank you for this opportunity, God, that you are blessing myself, my brothers, and my sisters to come into your house tonight, God, and to fellowship with you. 
Father God, thank you for allowing me to be the overseer of your flock right now today. Thank you for this anointing word. Thank you for this beautiful message, God, that you spoke to me today. Father God, you have your way in your house right now today. Father God, your word tells us in the book of Matthew, verse 18 and 19, when two or more gather in your name, hallelujah, there you are in the midst. I know that you're in the midst of our homes right now. I know that you're in the midst of our television sets right now. I know that you're in the midst of our telephones right now, our laptops, our desktops, our iPads, or whatever gadget that we have that we're using that we're watching your service on YouTube on right now today. Father God, allow your spirit to move through us today. Allow your love, allow your presence to move through us right now today. Father God, touch us right now today, God. Father God, you know exactly what we're going through, and you know exactly what we need from you, God. Father God, we ask you right now today, God, for you to move through us, God. Do a new thing in my sisters and my brother's life today, God. Even myself, God. Father God, you say that your, your house is a house of prayer and praise. So, God, that's what we're doing in your house. We are praising in your house. We are praying in your house. We are having fellowship in your house. But we give you the thanks and praise and glory in your house. Father God, we take no credit. We're about to go down in your house today. All the praise, all the worship, every light, every coming, every view belongs to you, Jesus. Father God, we came in for a purpose and we came in for a reason. And Father God, we leave in your house empty-handed. Father God, we came to your house today to get full and to be satisfied off your words and off your promises, God. Father God, I know that you're about to do something amazing in our life today, God. Father God, I just thank you for every day and every opportunity, God. Thank you for the day, God. Thank you right now today for my sisters and my brothers today, God, that we can come together in fellowship and just give you the thanks and praise and glory in your house, God. And no, right, no matter what we are going through today, Jesus, we still right here have our faith, God, and we are trusting you, God, during our pain and our difficult and suffering time. So, God, we want to say we thank you, we love you, and your honor, and your precious and holy mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father God, I'm coming to you right now today as a son of God. Father God, we fall short from your grace each and every day. And Father God, I'm here today on my behalf, on my sister's behalf, and also on my brother's behalf. And we are here to repent of our sins to you right now today, God. Heavenly Father God, I ask in your name right now today, Father God, please forgive me. Please forgive my brothers. Please forgive my sisters, God. For anything that we done wrong, God, that was inside of your eyes. Father God, come on my behalf right now today, even on my sisters and my brothers, God. Please forgive us, God, for anything we done wrong, God, that was not set right in your heart, God. Father God, we do fall short. We do make mistakes, God. We are not perfect, God. Father God, we are right here and we are asking you for forgiveness, God. That's why we repent of our sins to you right now today, God. You ain't got to worry about somebody that's telling you. Father God, we are telling you, God. We're being honest what we did, God. Father God, we're keeping it real with you right now today, God, to let you know what we did. But Father God, we are asking you for forgiveness as we forgive ourselves, God. Wash us clean through your blood, God. Purify us through your blood, God. And Father God, I want to say thank you, Father God, for forgiving us for what we did, God. Thank you, Father God, for not remembering our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for giving us a second chance, God. We thank you and we honor you and we praise your holy mighty name. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. And before I get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I just can't thank you enough for this awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for your words. I can't thank you for your promises. I can't thank you for your grace and your mercy. I can't thank you for your help, my help and our strength. I can't thank you for the air that we're able to breathe right now today. I can't thank you enough, Jesus, for the food that you have blessed and prepared to put on our table. The clothing shoe that you have put on our back. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus, how you're making the way out of no way. I can't thank you enough, Jesus, how you're healing us. I can't thank you enough, Jesus, how you provide. I can't thank you, no know, Jesus, how you moving mouth on our behalf right now today. I can't thank you for the angels that is joining us in praise and worship right now. I can't thank you for the Holy Spirit that is moving through us right now today. I just can't thank you for your love, God. I can't thank you for your faithfulness, God. I just can't thank you for thank you for who you are, what you have done, what you're about to do in our life right now today, God. Father God, I can't thank you for the open doors, but I can't thank you enough, God, for the closed doors either. I can't thank you for our blessing today. I can't thank you for our breakthrough today. I 
I can't think of our miracle today. I can't think of our anoint today. I can't think of our deliverance today. I can't think of our double portion today. I can't think of our more than enough today. I can't think of the rain today. I can't think of the God. What you about to do a new thing in our life right now today. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I worship you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I am, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Good God Almighty Jesus, I just can't thank you enough. Hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. And I don't know who this word for today. It could just be for me, but I know it for somebody else. My sisters, my brothers. Late last night, I couldn't sleep for a minute, my brothers, my sisters. I even took me a, a, a cup, a night quill, so I could knock myself out. But it didn't work. I tossed and I turned and I turned and I tossed because I was waiting on God to give me a word. And God knows, noticed that I was expecting that word. And as I tossed and turned and turned and tossed all last night, and he knew something was bothering me, and he also knew it was something bothering his daughters today. He also knew something bothering his sons today. And he sat down and he whispered in my ear with his soft, still voice. He said, my son, my child, I want you to know right now, and please let my sons know, and please let my daughters know, don't cry no more. Everything's going to be okay. Save the Lord. He said, you ain't got to cry no more. He said, everything's going to be okay. He said, I know that you're going through a hard and difficult time, but he said, you ain't got to cry no more. He said, I know that you're in a dark place right now. But he said, you ain't got to cry no more. He said, I know this people have walked out of your life. But he said, you ain't got to cry about it or stress about it no more. He said, I know things are looking ugly right now. I know that you're in a difficult situation right now. I know that I'm confusing things right now. I know that you've been calling out my name. I noticed that you've been asking me for something and I've been so quiet to you. And right now, we're running on feelings right now. We're going off our emotions right now. And we're going off our feelings right now. Some of us right now today, we even almost slipped into temptation. But it was our God, hallelujah, who said he would never let, allow you to be tempted to do anything evil. And I believe that God had his hand on you today, my brothers. I believe that God had his hand on you today, my sisters, because he knew that you was going through but he told me to tell you today. He said everything. He said absolutely everything is going to be okay. He said everything is going to be all right. But he told me to tell you today, my brothers. He told me to tell you right now today, my sisters. Even when he told me. He said, LT, tell my sons, tell my daughters. The only thing that I ask of them. It's for them, for them to continue to what? To seek me. Where they can find me. Seek me. Where they can see my face. Seek me. Where they can hear my voice. He say, seek me. And everything is going to be okay. Jeremiah 29, 13. He said, you will seek me and find me. When you seek me with all your heart, I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back from captivity. I will gather you from all the nations and places where I have banished you, Ooh, hallelujah, declares the Lord, and will bring you back to the place from which I carry you into exile. So when Jesus said, you ain't got to cry no more, and all you got to do is seek him, that's what he means. He said, I know that you're in a difficult in a difficult situation right now. I know separation is coming up. 
I know divorce is coming up. I know health problems is coming up. I know finances is coming up. I know that dreams is not coming coming to pass as quick as you want it. I know that you're in a difficult spot right now. I know that you're looking to the left. I know that you're looking for the right. I know that you're crying out my name, but yet you don't see nothing. Yet everything's still looking the same. Yet you're still in the midst of your storm. Yet you're still in the wilderness, but yet you're still seeking me. You say, God, where you at? He said, continue to seek him during your pain. Continue to seek him during your suffering. Continue to seek him during your struggle and your hardship. And he's promised you today, my brothers. He promised you today, my sisters, that you would get through it. And he made that promise to me so vividly and clear last night, my brothers, my sisters. He said, I promise you everything is going to be okay. He said, everything is going to work out for your good. And he told me to tell you, the reason why the enemy is hitting you where it's hitting you right now today. The enemy knows that the sun is about to break through the clouds. And he knows what's about to happen. He knows the rain has already stopped in your storm. He knows every trap that the enemy tried to place on you, it did not prosper at all. So right now, he is mad right now. He's trying to throw all kinds of sticks and stones at you right now. And I know right now that you feel like that God got you in a confusing state of mind. Because he said, God, I'm confused right now. Why are you allowing this to happen to me when I've been faithful to you? God, I'm confused right now. Why are you allowing this thing to happen to me while I've been obedient? God, I'm confused right now. Why are you letting all these attacks happen to me the way it's happened to me when I've been faithful? And God said, the reason why I'm allowing it to happen to you because I know what you can handle. You don't know how strong you are until you go through these difficult situations. I didn't choose everybody to go through this. I didn't consider everybody to go through this. I put more on your plate, my son. I put more on your plate, my daughter, because I know, hallelujah, what you can go through. I know what you can bear. And I noticed that this word had to be a confirmation word. And the reason why I know it had to be a confirmation word is because the moment when God spoke that in my voice last night, I get a message from my own from my, um, Facebook. And I don't know who this young lady is. And the first thing that she said on there, do not cry. Everything is okay. So I knew then that God has noticed our pain. He has noticed our suffering, my brothers, my sisters. Our struggle. He's noticed the dark place that we're in. He noticed the trouble that we're in. He noticed the turmoil we're in. He noticed that we've been in a confused state. He noticed that we're about to slip on something. And he said, you ain't got to cry no more. He said, you ain't got to worry about it no more. You ain't got to stress about it no more. Only thing Jesus expects you to do, the only thing Jesus expects you to do, my brothers, my sisters, is to seek him. And he's telling me right now today to tell you that everything, I mean absolutely everything, is going to be okay. Do you believe that everything's going to be okay today? Is the question I'm asking somebody today. Do you have enough faith in what Jesus is telling you in Jeremiah 29, 13? He said, I'm going to take you back to that place, that long place. See, right now we're in this dark place. We're in this dark, confusing place. And we don't understand what's going on right now. We don't understand what's going on right now. We have done absolutely everything and what Jesus has expected us to do and want us to do. But yet, everything is not making sense. It's not pinning out. We're like, okay, what is it? God, are you really for us like you say you are? And we get to the point in our life and the point in our walk, we question God. Every last one of us has questioned him. And we say, God, what is it? We've done everything that you asked us to do, but God, we're still in this situation. We're still in this confusing state. Things still not adding up. It's like it's getting worse and worse and worse. He says, son, I'm allowing it to be that way. Just the enemy know that he's already lost. See, right now, the enemy thinks he's winning right now because he's laughing at us. He is allowing our husbands and our wife to, um, to go against us. 
people out of that job to go against us, people in our family, in-laws. There's certain people, you know what I'm saying, that we thought who was going to be there for, and we see how they doing us. They see how they turn their back against us. And he said, everything's going to be okay. Everybody meant to be in your life forever. Some people meant to be in your life for a season or a season or two. Some people is meant to be in your life so you can see who they really was. You couldn't see them, but I could. You didn't notice their heart, but I did. You didn't know. You didn't notice how toxic they was. You didn't know what they were saying behind your back. You didn't know what they were saying behind closed doors. But if you continue to seek me, I'm gonna talk to you. Continue to seek me. I'ma guide you through it. Continue to seek me. I'm gonna direct you through it. Continue to seek me. I'm gonna get you through it. Safe the Lord. When he says safe the Lord, I mean that you can trust on him. And right now today, my sisters and brothers. I need y'all to stand firm on your foundation of faith right now today. Despite the pain, despite the difficulties, despite the confusion, the struggle, despite even the dark place. So I'm going to stand firm right here on my foundation of faith, on my foundation of trust, on my foundation of hope. Despite what the enemies hit me with, Despite the confusion, despite the, the dark place, despite where I don't see things happening, despite what's going on, despite the enemy laughing, despite of the rumors, despite of the, the divorce rumors, the separation, whatever it is what the enemy is trying to do, I'm going to stand firm, hallelujah, on my foundation of faith and my trust and hope. Isaiah 54 verse 17 said, no weapon, hallelujah, shall, shall prosper against you. But it did say, I can't stop the weapons from forming. But he gave you your word. They will not prosper. Psalms 25 verse 3 says, There's no way that he will allow the enemies to put you to shame. That he will put the enemy to shame. That's why he's telling you right now today, you ain't got to cry no more. You ain't got to worry about it no more. You ain't got to stress about it no more. He says it's going to be okay. He wants you to be calm now. He wants you to be relaxed now. He wants you to 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 extend extend your olive uh, olive tree olive branch in your faith right now today. That's why he's telling you that right now today. He said you ain't got to cry and worry about it no more. He said it's gonna be okay. He said you can trust me on that. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna work out. Whatever the enemy meant for your harm, God said I'm gonna I'm gonna turn around for your good because it's gonna be okay. You might can't see it right now. You might can't understand it right now. It might not even make sense to you right now. But he says, it's going to be okay. He said, I'm tired of wiping your, your, your tears from your face. He said, I'm patching your broken heart, your wounded heart. I'm patching it up right now today. You don't feel my hand on your heart right now? You don't feel my hand that's caressing and soothing your heart right now? It's me that's living inside of you. It is me who's breathing inside of you. It is me who gave me the strength to get through it. Why you think he's telling you it's going to be okay? You still get up, even though you get the mask on, but you still got that smile on your face. You still praising. You still worshiping. You still on your knees. You still open up your Bible to read the word. That's him telling you it's going to be okay. Because if it wasn't going to be okay, you wouldn't be doing what you're doing. Now would you? So by you doing what you're doing, he said, you trust me. It's going to be okay. I'm going to work it out. John 15 verse 5 said that you can ask anything. Hallelujah. In his name, he said, absolutely anything. He said, I'm going to do it for you. Why he said, ask him? Because long that you are committed to him and his words committed to you, and you have that bond, you have the relationship, he's telling you in John 15 5, it's going to be okay. I'm going to get you through it. Matthew 6, verse 33. If you have your Bible, let the church say amen. Matthew 6, 33. But seek what? First, the kingdom and its righteousness. And all these things will be given to you as well. What are you talking about giving? He's talking about giving you a peace of mind. He's giving you hope. He's giving you trust. He's giving you another chance. He's giving you another opportunity. He's telling you, I'm going to give you Everything that you want. He said, I'm telling you, it's going to be okay. But he wants you to seek what? The kingdom first. 
Who is the king? There's no king without a kingdom. Without a kingdom, there's no king. So we serve our holy king, and his name is Jesus. He says, seek him. Jeremiah 29 says, seek him. He said, the more that you continue to seek him, seek him, you'll find him. Seek him, you'll hear from him. Seek him, you'll watch what he's going to do. Seek him. And he said, everything's going to be okay. Before I close this sermon, my brothers, my sisters, I need all my sisters right now tonight or this morning, this afternoon, or we'll be around the world. All my brothers tonight, this morning, this afternoon, wherever you're around the world, I need you to do one thing right now today. I know that you're going through it right now. I know it's difficult right now. I know it's painful right now. I know it's stressful right now. I know that you're tired. The enemy is beating you and beating you and beating you and you ain't seen no break yet. You ain't seen no progress yet. And you you probably say, God, where you at? God, how can you allow this to happen? But he told me to tell you, hallelujah, that we need to continue to seek him. The more that we continue to seek him and we put our faith and our trust and our hope in our God, he said, you ain't got to cry no more. You ain't got to worry about it no more. You ain't got to stress about it no more. Because he said, I'm going to get you through it. Save the Lord. When he said that, he said, put your faith in it. And I promise you, my son, I promise you, my daughter, I promise you, servant AMT, I'm going to get you through it. Because I know that you've been going through a hard time. I know it's been painful. I know it's been stressful. I know it's weighing you out. I know that you have not seen light in a long time. But the enemy is so mad at you because you continue to press forward. You're about to walk into your purpose. You're about to walk into your land that's flowing with milk and honey. He noticed that the sun is about to break through the clouds. He noticed that the rain has stopped in your storm. He see that victory. He see the crown of life on your head. So right now, he is throwing everything where he's got. But he also is tired as well. And see, when the enemy is getting mad, really mad at you, he started throwing delusional things at you. He started using the one that's close to you to hurt you and to attack you and to cut you up. So when you see your husband and when you see your wife start cutting up, start making accusations, so they want to leave, they want to divorce, they want to break up, or they got to find themselves, or this right here ain't right, it's not even them. It's just the enemy is using them like a little puppy. They up under this coma. They up under this spell through the enemy. So God say, hallelujah, continue to seek him. He's going to get you through it. He said, I know it's painful. He said, I know it's stressful. He said, I watch you every night. I'm protecting you every night. I'm covering you every night. I'm wiping the tears from your face every night. I'm soothing your heart every night, every morning, every afternoon. But God said, when you seek me, I'm going to give you the strength so you continue to get through it. I'm going to provide. I'm going to heal. Whatever it is the enemy trying to do to you, you best believe it's never going to prosper. I will put him to shame. God had never lost no war, and he ain't about to lose. The battle is already over with. You might not realize it. You might not be aware of it. He said everything's going to be okay. He said everything's going to be all right. And I believe you, Jesus. I trust you, Jesus. Father God, I'm going to keep it real with you right now today. It's going, to be a, it's going to be a hard battle for me. It's going to be a hard battle for my sisters. It's going to be a hard battle for my brothers. But God, one thing I know about you, your word tells in the book of Numbers 23, verse 19, that you're a man that you should not lie. Whatever you gave us a promise, you said that we can hold on that, we can stand by on that, that you're a man that you cannot change your mind or go back on your word to what God is telling you right now today, my brothers, my sisters, that everything is going to be okay, that he's going to get you through it. He said, I cannot go back on that word. I cannot go, go, go back on my promise. If I told you something, I meant it. If I said I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. I cannot lie. And I'm not going to lie to you because you're counting on me. You're depending on me. You're relying on me. And you trust me. And he said, I will get you through it. Safe the Lord. God, right now, we are coming to agreement right now today. Myself, my sisters, and my brothers right now today. Because we are brothers and sisters in Christ. We are one big, huge family. You know exactly what, you know exactly what we are going through. 
Father God, we have been in a confused state. We have been a, in a difficult state. We have been going through our ups and downs. We have been suffering. We have been struggling. We have been going through a hardship. We've been in pain. We've been going through a lot, God. And Father God, we get tired, God. Even God, some of us today, Father God, we almost, almost went into our feelings, into our emotions, God, but you held us back because you said you will never allow us to be tempted by temptation. And Father God, I want to say thank you for holding me back. Thank you for holding my sisters and my brothers back, God. Father God, thank you. But God, we need you right now today, God. We are seeking you right now today, God, for guidance. We are seeking you right now today, God, for direction. We are seeking you right now today, God, for a word. We are seeking you right now today, God, for promises. We are seeking you right now today, God, for protection. We are seeking you right now today, God, for answers. We are seeking you right now today, God, for light. We are seeking you right now today, God, for knowledge and understanding and wisdom, God. Father God, we can't do it by ourselves today. Jesus, we need you right now. And Father God, we are holding on to your words. And we are holding on to your promises right now today. That you said that you'll be the steward. And we believe that today, Jesus. We trust you today for that, Jesus. Father God, get us to it, God. Because we can't do it alone by ourselves. We are only human. But we'll fall short and we will make mistakes. So God, we are holding on to your words. And we are holding on to your promise right now today. That we ain't got to cry no more. That we ain't got to stress about it no more. That we ain't got to even have to worry about it no more. You gave us your word. You gave us your promises that you would get us to it. You told us that we can ask you anything in your name, God. That's what we're asking you for right now today, God, to get us to it. Get us through this difficult time. Get us through this painful time, this stressful time, this confusion time, this time that we ain't, we ain't seen any progress time, this hardship and suffering time. This time, Father God, we don't understand what's going on, God. We don't understand what's happening. God, get us through this. You the only thing that we got, God. Everybody that's going to out of our life, everybody that's going to turn their back against us, God. You're the only one there. And you're the only one that we count on. You're the only one that we depend on. So we need you right now. My brothers need you. My sisters need you. And myself, I need you, Jesus. And we believe you in your holy, precious name. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life right now today for guidance and direction. Father God, I ask you right now today to do a new thing in my brothers and my sisters' life right now today. Father God, as we pray this simple little prayer, God, we know that you're doing everything that you said that you're going to do, God. My brothers and my sisters, continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know them. It doesn't matter if you've ever seen them before in your life. Prayer will help and prayer will change things. I'm always going to continue to keep you all in prayer, my brothers and my sisters. I just ask y'all guys to continue to keep me in prayer too. Don't worry about it no more, my brothers and my sisters. God will get us through this. I believe it. I declare it. I receive it right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. This is our year. This is our moment that the enemy will be the, will be put to shame. Every trap that the enemy tried to plot against us, it's already destroyed. It's already notified. It's already burnt. With the, and God already on crush the head of the serpent serpent's neck. The sun is about to shine. Rain has stopped in our storm. Victory is ours. We have just received the crown of life. This servant minister LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' holy mighty name. I love y'all. Amen.